Okay, so I want to talk you through an exponential and logarithmic modeling question, I guess, just so you can see sort of the step-by-step -step process for these things. Uh, let's just dive straight into it. Now, you can pause the video and read that question yourself. Probably some key elements here is this formula. You really need some formula to, to go with here. Um, what else have we got? We've got 20% uh, a year here. And that's how much the um, medical cases are being reduced by each year. 10,000 people, that's our initial value, so that's going to be important. Okay, how many people will have the disease after one year? So don't really need a little formula here to do it, I guess. We can just say, all right, there's 10,000 today. After one year, there will be 10,000 times um, 1 minus 0 0.2. Now, that's sort of our percentages. So what I'm really doing is 10,000 times 0 0.8 because it says it's reducing by 20% each year, but that means that there's going to be 80% left. So just be, just so I can talk to you, just be really, really careful. Uh, if something's reducing by an amount, your decay rate's not going to be 20%. Your decay rate's going to be 1 minus whatever that reduction is. So you need to make sure that you're interpreting your question and asking yourself, are they saying that 20% of the original will be left, in which case that is your decay rate, or are they saying 20% will be lost, in which case your decay rate is one minus that. All right, so I got question one correct, great. You can see the like model mathematical working there that's slightly different to mine because they're using percentages, whereas I'm using decimals, but it's the same idea. All right, find the value of k correct to three decimal places. So let's take a look uh, at what we've got. So we know um, when time equals zero, so at the very beginning of this thing, there's 10,000 people that are sick. So let's write down some of this. Let's write our formula first of all. D equals initial value um, E to the KT. All right. Now let's put in some values. Um, I can put in 10,000 and as an initial value. Um, and now let's think about what I can do here. So if I were to put time zero in there, I'd just be putting 10,000 in there, and then the whole thing's just going to sort of collapse in on itself. Um, whereas if I can come up with another point, uh, for instance, the point I just found, I can say that at time one, the new population is 8,000. And then I can solve that. There's a few different ways to solve it. Uh, let's go with 8,000 divided by 10,000 equals e to the k in this instance. Uh, and then you can take the log of both sides or you can rewrite this in uh, log form, I suppose. I'll write it in log form because they didn't, but you can. So I'll say natural log of um, that divided by that, which is 0 0.8 equals k and I can type that into my calculator and I'll get a k value equal to negative 0 0.223. Alternative workings here, oops, alternative working is here, they've just taken the log of both sides and worked from there but we should get the same answer. Um, okay next what else have we got here? Find, oh uh, wait, Oh, so now we have a, I guess the next bit just says write the equation, substitute values for k and initial value. So if I just want to write my equation now, I can say that d equals initial value e to the negative 0.223t. And so now I have an equation and I can do all manner of things with that equation. Find how long it would take for the number of people with the disease to be halved. All right, so... If that were the case, um, we started with 10,000, so we're going to move over to 5,000. So 5,000 equals 10,000 e to the negative 0.223t. 
Divide 5,000 by 10,000 and you'll get one half e to the negative 0.223t. I'm just skipping the step where I do 5,000 divided by 10,000 because you should be able to see pretty quickly that that's one half. Um, and again, there's two ways to work from here. 10 stopped working, so that's inconvenient, but we're just going to plow through here. Um, now, from here, 1 half e to the negative 0 0.23, you can use this working that they're using uh, right there. So essentially, they've just written it in uh, log form. So ln or log base e 0 0.5 equals negative 0 0.223t and then um, come up with an answer there. I think that's how I would do it as well. Yep, that's pretty good. Um, there's no other way that I would think of doing that. You could take log of both sides, but it's not super useful. Okay, last uh, last bit of this question. How long would it take for the number of people with the disease to be reduced to 100? Give your answer correct to the nearest year. Well, I think that's the same question. I don't think there's anything interesting in that, um, apart from the fact Apart from the fact that once you've got your answer, 20.651, um, you're going to have to round up. Uh, you kind of can't do like a half a year. For the simple fact, how long would it take? Give your answer correct to the nearest year. They're asking for you to give your answer correct to the nearest year. Um, now, if they didn't ask for answer correct to the year, nearest year, you probably could say 20 years and six months, uh, no, seven months, I guess, whatever whatever 65% uh, of 12 is. So probably sometime in July on the 20th year. Um, okay, so there's a little walk through that exponential and logarithmic modeling.